Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the updated Sticky Notes app that comes with the OneNote app. So if you don't have OneNote, uh, there are two versions. There's the one that comes with Office 365, and then there's the standalone app that comes with Windows, which is free to use. So either way, you could use this new Sticky Notes app. So let's open the old one first here. So you can see we have our basic notes here. We can open it up, uh, change the color, delete it, add a new one, change the formatting, uh, add a picture if we want. And we can right click on it, delete it. We have a couple settings up here for dark mode and so on. Pretty basic. All right, so now let's open OneNote. So if you don't have OneNote, you could go to OneNote.com and there's a download button. Then you could download and install the free version. So then once you have it installed, you could run it. Okay, so we have a couple notebooks open here. And at the top here, you'll see we have a sticky notes button with a shortcut key for Win-Alt-S. So if we click on that, it'll open it up. So it's similar to the other one. It just has a couple extra features. So this has some uh, suggested notes here when you first install it that you could delete if you don't want. Then it actually imported the sticky note from the original sticky notes program, which you could delete as well. So if you want to do a new note, just click on new note. Like so. And you can see the screenshot button is grayed out and that's because there's nothing active in the background here. So if we open this window, for example, now we could click on screenshot and it'll actually take a screenshot of the open window. So that's the catch. You can't, you know, click on screenshot and then draw a box around something. It'll just take a picture of the open window. And then you could pop it out into a standalone window here. Then you could do the same thing where you could change the color, copy note, and delete it. And if you right click on the picture, you could open it. Or you could also double click it to open it. Uh, copy it, copy text from image, or delete. So if you do the copy text from image, It'll copy whatever text it sees in the picture there. And let's open up Notepad, for example. Paste it in. You know, it's not the best uh, app to paste it into, but you can see how it just copies the text here. And if you put it in something like Word, you might get a little better formatting, but just wanted to show you how it worked there real quick. And then once you take a screenshot, you can only take one, because if you hover over it, it tells you only one is allowed. And then we have this pin to top button here. So if you want it always to be on top of your windows, you could do that. So now you can see when we open other windows, it stays above it. So that's a nice feature. Then if you close it, it'll just put it back in your list here. Then we have a couple settings for this newer app here. So if you want to use a different account, change your office theme settings there for colors, privacy settings, and so on. And then once you open it, if it's something you're going to continue to use, you could just right click on the icon here, pin to taskbar. So now if you have this closed and you have OneNote closed, you'll still be able to get to it from there. And then if you were to click on the search box here, start typing in sticky, you should have it in here as well for the old one and the new one. So another way to open it. Okay, then one other feature I wanted to show you, which is kind of nice with the uh, new Sticky Notes app. If you go back to the uh, ellipsis here, there's a dock to desktop option, which leaves it docked off here to the side. So even if you make your apps full screen, you'll still be able to have your notes on the side here. And then of course you could just come back here and undock it and put it back to normal. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So once again, go to the OneNote website. I'll put this uh, link in the description here. Download the OneNote app if you don't have it already. And then once you go into it, you should have your sticky notes icon there to get things started. And then you could pin it or just do a search for it from your search box and take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.